Hi guys, this is ML. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and our Japanese campaign where we fight the treacherous Soviet Union that backed Saba so viciously for no reason, no reason at all. Yeah, but before we get to that, let's talk about a new mod I found and installed. It's called Better Terrain View and it uh, changes the way map looks uh, in a way that perhaps is, isn't as pretty uh, but allow us, allows us to uh, make distinctions between uh, various types of ter terrain for the most part. Uh, it's still work in progress uh, as you can see it's, it's fairly hard to tell uh, when uh, for example here with this uh, terrain background but uh, I think it's it's well worth it. Uh, well, th let me tell you. Uh, tell me, please, in the comments, what do you think about it? Uh, does it make the game too ugly? Uh, do you like the, the clarity? Do you like something else to change? I'll probably fiddle with it on my own uh, later and try to uh, f f perhaps uh, make. Uh, uh, those uh, terrain types uh, less visible when we were uh, when we zoom uh, zoom out uh, heavily while uh, making the colors less visible uh, when we uh, are so close. So to make it even easier to recognize in what terrain are we fighting. Right, but uh, back to the game though. Uh, we I think we pushed through. Yep, uh, our okay. Uh, first of all. You guys need to be under someone's command, mostly to well to, to, to have uh, your oh never mind you are you are under the command of this guy, who's a trickster, uh, halfway to level five and barely a mountaineer, but that's that's right never mind. Uh, the, this color is very I I just loaded the game so I'm not uh, <laughs> I, I need to uh, get myself up to speed. Uh, I think we'll be uh, we'll manage to close this packet. There isn't as much as one would hope here, and they're they're pushing into to our territory uh, to the point I mm, that I find concerning. But I think uh, we can stop that advance by throwing up some cavalry at them. We clear we just cleared this packet. Mm, let's let's redeploy cavalry here and uh, maybe advance one of those divisions uh, without redeploying. Oh, let's just uh, redeploy right here. Well, see, this is this is desert. This is mountain. Those are mountains. Those are hills. Here's are easiest to see, and so on. This is all desert. Okay, and those are, I believe, no, that's still desert. Uh, they look like plains. Those are plains. Oh, yeah, it's not ideal, but I think it's still much better than what, what it was. I, well, at least I really enjoyed it. It's, uh, and it's prettier than the uh, simplified terrain map view. Here, our uh, offensive to close uh, this whole packet continues. And now we can see the terrain too, so we will be advancing into hills and then into mountains. But for now, we are going through the uh, through the forest and and some mountains here as well. Well, look at that! I I, I haven't realized that we will be we are actually attacking into the mountains uh, against nine divisions with our marines uh, through the river, no less. So. <laughs> Less than ideal, probably. probably. Yes, probably less than ideal. Still, I think we'll continue. Uh, we'll continue because. Uh, they are escaping that way. Huh, okay, that's. That is a bit problematic. Okay, let's take the, the most beaten up troops and. Uh, Keep moving them. We'll limit ourselves to three. Uh, we'll be still doing some damage, keep them from uh, from reinforcing. But I think we'll need a bit more people here to to, to deal deal with that. They they have a fair amount of divisions. Here is uh, much easier. Just some forest and hills. 
uh, we should be able to close uh, this end of the packet in no time. Uh, here, however, uh, not so sure. This this seems uh, fairly easy though, and for that reason, I'm going to recall three divisions, uh, assign them to. Well, I can't really assign them to that guy, but that doesn't really matter. And just just redeploy them there, and to assist us with with further push because this this look, looks bleak at the moment. Uh, here we need to uh, reassign our our units. Uh, we have some. Okay, you are assigned to anything. You really should be. Ah, because you are the. Ah, sure. Go go ahead and get assigned to the, to this. This is the expeditionary force. Uh, shitty. Oh my god. A terrible division, but division nonetheless. So let's let's keep them. Should they? Ah, yeah. Let's let's assign them anyway. Mm. What do you want to do with those troops, though? Um, I think we finally managed to break through here. I'm fairly certain we'll close this gap, but uh, we we'll have to start thinking about a bigger picture. Uh, so we'll end up with a fairly big front line that uh, with a lot of mountains right uh, behind the. Soviet troops, so uh, any encirclements uh, past this point will be extremely difficult. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps if we start this from here and try to punch, uh, punch through here and uh, perhaps here, but it's it's all very, uh, it's it's all a very difficult terrain. So. The the last thing I think there there's a lot of troops around uh, around this area, so I'm not sure we'll be even able to, to uh, close this packet. I think uh, we will uh, just throw. It. I don't think we can uh, perform uh, any uh, sensible offensive on this front. We we probably can push in a little bit, create a small packet of uh, packet or two, but. Uh, uh, that won't lead to anything major. And uh, as someone pointed out, we, uh, if we want win this war, uh, if we want win it in a two, in two years, that means uh, all of good Russian territory, uh, that all of the territory that that is worth anything, will be uh, basically handed for free to to Germans. And remember, we are not in Axis. We will be. Fighting Germans at some point, so it would be uh, prudent to, to, to do our best and uh, uh, first not get bogged down in this war. Uh, for to, uh, because I, I think we are winning, yeah, we lost 80 to the 250, but that's uh, that isn't nearly enough uh, to, to out. Uh, Mitchell, uh, what is what is yeah um, well, to out uh, shoot the Soviet Union? Let's say yeah, out shoot, I guess. And the uh, officers' purge penalty is slowly ticking down, but slowly only tick by uh, what uh, five percent for organization and one percent for doctrine research. Uh, but I'm what I'm more interested in here are military factories. Uh, they have. Uh, to, uh, they have similar amount of factories to us, a, a bit less actually, probably around 30, 48 or so, but they have a 20% higher efficiency. That means that their factories are uh, almost 50%, uh, well, uh, around 40% more effective than our factories, uh, since they, their efficiency cap is 65 to our uh, 45. And our what we while we can't uh, win with them on manpower, uh, we possibly can uh, can win uh, on attrition. Uh, we can possibly uh, fight in such a way and so uh, uh, deal so much uh, uh, 
losses equipment wise that uh, most of their divisions will be under equipped and uh, easier for us to deal with and uh, what basically what happened to the Chinese at the end uh, but that would also mean um, well it, it will be very difficult to do even uh, we have comparable uh, comparable industrial capacity at this point uh, so that that would uh, cost us uh, all we can uh, all we can master industry wise uh, but well we'll we'll try to to uh, basically try uh, try to fight uh, limit our fights like this one uh, where we uh, suffer more than we than we deal but uh, we will still try to go for uh, the answer comments and whatnot and we'll see how how well they will fare uh, one more thing I haven't I haven't looked into is how much divisions they still have well as you can see this this is this is the problem they have at error uh, probably over 200 divisions probably twice the amount of division we, we have and some of them are better than ours so we have to get creative <laughs> it's a uh, we'll get to the uh, question of war over Tibet and uh, potential war against allies early on later but I think uh, for, I'm tempted to risk going to war over Tibet uh, but uh, there is a big chance that that would mean uh, pulling allies into the war uh, and I've, I'd say I would need 20-30 more divisions to do to, to uh, to attempt beating them, to, to be honest. Hmm, that. Okay, uh, not sure what my battleships are doing that. Hmm. Is this like. I guess that's uh, uh, the basic port, so let's move them here. We don't, we don't really need. Uh, uh, we don't really need navy right now. Just, just all those patrols will do. Okay, let's unpause. Uh, we are still yet to choose the research, but that's all right. Uh, we are pushing through here fairly well, but we are fighting some. Uh, we, are, we will fight some tanks shortly. They are starting to suffer. They they have low supplies, but not uh, catastrophically low. Hmm. That's uh, speaking about supplies. That's another thing to consider. Uh, the way uh, supply zones are structured. So that's uh, uh, important uh, consideration for us. Uh, so, uh, as you've seen when we were fighting on the, uh, uh, in Mongolia, we want to capture some border provinces to get more supplies and whatnot. Say the same here. But that's uh, also a powerful offensive tool. Uh, we may want to uh, limit uh, the, uh, their supply flow but uh, capturing uh, focusing bordering provinces uh, it's uh, we well they have probably more more than they need here but nothing to write home about uh, where are you guys going you are going Oh right, I forgot. I've used those. Uh, I put those divisions there. I've uh, and those. I think I will keep throwing divisions there, though. Uh, this this one is alright, uh, and those divisions I think are um, should go there as well. Yep, that's. Hmm. Should I? Yeah, I should. I should have probably done that. Not uh, not cancel that move. Do we need more divisions here? Uh, I doubt it. If we will be in a dire need, we'll throw something here, either from uh, from this. But we have some uh, uh, some volunteers uh, that will do. Uh, I think those three divisions can go and uh, support our uh, advance here. I think this is going to be both uh, very important and quite uh, difficult. But uh, 
we need to worry about supplies as well. We control three point uh, only three bordering uh, one, one third of bordering provinces. Uh, we will need to capture this and I guess this. Uh, okay, once again, no, it's, it's this province, right? So should probably uh, would probably want to push through those two provinces to, to, to improve our supply situation. So that sh will be the job for those guys, I believe. No, that should. This is a river, though. But if we go here, it should be fairly easy. <laughs> ah, that's. That's a, a consideration. Uh, on one hand, it would be nice to, to, to push not, not through the river, um, but going here we will put uh, more strain on our, on our supplies. So I think we'll go risk it uh, here and hope that there isn't uh, much going on there. I, I assume there isn't. Um, because they at this point they will be pulling out of, of the packets and uh, be afraid of uh, a supplement already. So we are in dire need of some motorized divisions. Well, not yet because it's it's all a forest, and motorized divisions are atrocious in forests. As I will present to you here: minus 40 movement and minus 20 attack. Uh, same with in. Uh, so there, that's actually jungle. So one minus 35. Still, I think it's it's, it's very bad uh, uh, compared to let's say marine division that it uh, has well small but small uh, but bonuses. Uh, but, uh, tanks are better than motorized and mechanized also are better than motorized in the forest, but we do not have either. Have to live with that. Uh, so that that that's the reason I why I'm not throwing, uh, uh, fanatically throwing my uh, motorized up there, despite the fact that I need uh, supplements. Like I would have problems achieving that. Uh, so let's uh, just deal with it uh, using our infantry, and uh, we'll perhaps use uh, mot use motorized who are fairly effective in mountains to do some work in Mongolia. Oh, that's uh, ah, that's not uh, anything. It doesn't uh, have uh, victory points here. For a second, I thought I missed the the victory point there. But this is only uh, specific. Uh, uh, this is the only specific victory point. The rest victory points are based on uh, amount con uh, of terrain controlled. So, oh, look at you. You are just standing there. Perfect. And you have no supply, so. Should we start crushing you? Probably. Uh, let's do this and support this attack. Uh, let's through the river, but everything is here is from, through the bloody river. Um, let's push through this and uh, hold them there. I will support this attack. Mm. These guys are going in that direction. Hmm. I think I will go here. Let's strategically deploy to, to limit our. Um, uh, we won't be attacking just uh, up now just yet, so I will strategically redeploy to limit uh, at, uh, attrition. I'm suffering. Uh, okay, those guys. Uh, you already arrived. Uh, you are pulling. Back actually, so let's go here perhaps and uh, position ourselves uh, in such a way that we can uh, stop either of the uh, movements. Mm. Like, so we don't have air superiority, but I don't think this is a big issue. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they they barely have any, so that's that that doesn't really affect us. Yes. yes. Not, not, not very important. Those, uh, as I mentioned several times, those zones are huge, and with these uh, early levels of, uh, of planes, uh, that means a very low operational range. Uh, 
they are borderline useless in, in, in such situations. So we are not really worried about planes. In Europe, however, planes are king, even so, even so early. Okay, let's uh, start thinking what we want to choose. Ah, right, okay. we've already chosen. Uh, chosen, we'll go with this. And how many days we have to wait? The reason I'm waiting is I'm, uh, I will wait another 10 days. Uh, because it is ahead of time research, so the longer we wait, it, uh, the cheaper it is. And since we can wait 30 days, we, we will do that. Huh. Do you want to start putting pressure here? They are oddly absent here. Yeah, perhaps we should. Uh, you know what? We should, we should perhaps push. Put more strain on them. Um, uh, in case one of those uh, encirclements fails. Uh, I, I was throwing all the meat I had uh, in that, uh, into that other uh, part, but this one isn't going too well either. Right, we sh we are failing here by not using all the uh, troops we have. So let's uh, put that infantry to use. Oh my god, this one. Uh, we have four cavalry here. I we'll have to figure what, out what to do. Huh. Maybe we should go for Tibet after all, but no, I don't want to do that without having at least some... Okay, problem with Tibet and uh, potential war with, uh, uh, with the Allies is... Uh, if we were to, 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 to fight against Allies here, I would want 20, 20 mountain divisions uh, on the peninsula. Uh, I would put like 15 uh, around this and try to push, push uh, or perhaps some motorized here and basically try to establish this front line uh, to, 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 to limit our exposure obviously, uh, to, to limit our need for troops. So that would be the first thing I would do. Uh, but and we would have to deal with, with the, those two things, so that's uh, probably some five divisions of marines would do. Uh, here probably just a simple cover would suffice. For Singapore, we would just need a few few marine divisions, I believe, but uh, nothing major. Uh, but a real problem would be uh, the defense against possible naval landings. That that would occur. I'm not sure if our navy is up to the task. Probably. It would be if we had enough planes, but uh, we don't at this point. Uh, so our carriers are not very useful, and I I think it would be too too risky even if we managed to 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 to, uh, to get some more uh, uh, some more divisions, uh, mountain divisions. It would be too too risky to go to war uh, against uh, uh, against allies over Tibet of all things. Well, uh, not saying no, though. But we'll see how uh, how situation develops. Let's start. Let's continue building motorized uh, mountain troops for now. Oh, mm, wh when will we finish this? Well, we we still have uh, almost two months before it finishes, and then we have two months to decide. So, well. Uh, We'll think uh, one. Uh, we'll wonder about that when uh, time comes. Oh, well, you do have some. You know what? Let's see if we can exploit this uh, this gap in the defenses. Garrisons. Uh, do we want to move some troops into better spots? I think we want to move this uh, motorized division and uh, uh, it's, it's bloody mud. Huh? This this grinds to a halt. Uh, we need to, we need more there. How's the uh, supply situation? It's the same supply uh, as here, so we're good on that. Hmm. Uh, 
let's leave that gap alone and uh, uh, throw more mana here. There is quite a, there are quite a few divisions around. Mm, should probably uh, deal with those guys. Though I don't think I like pushing them out of there. I would want to 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 at least uh, secure this before we do, but. Uh, we are getting attacked from too many fronts here, and that stops our uh, our advance heavily. Uh, another problem is here. Uh, we are starting to to, to, to to suffer from supply uh, supply losses, but uh, uh, we are doing fairly well. Uh, they have pretty powerful divisions here, though, um, like this one, and uh, the the armored one. And we will see that they have bigger supply problems. However, we will have to wait and see how, uh, if, how and if our. Okay, uh, I think I prefer to throw cavalry divisions in there rather than standard ones. Uh, so they will be better in this, uh, in this terrain. Uh, some small attacks here. Uh, we we'll close this packet. Perfect. Oh, you're supposed to, to, to continue the advance. Uh, let's not waste any time, and you guys will uh, try to clean this up. Mm. You're attacking. Well, let's throw you there as well. Uh, you'll just uh, support. You will be. Mm. That's half of you will go there. You are moving here and you are out of organization. You are pushing and you pushed some guys out of there, that's good. And those motorized troops. This one of you, it, this is nice, but I, I want to catch that as well. Okay, uh, that should do it for now. Uh, uh, Nine days, you are being attacked and you are attacking, which is less than ideal, but yeah, we can handle this. Hmm. You're just sitting here, so ah, right, there is no. Hmm. Perhaps we should. Oh, they have motorized divisions too, also. So better and better divisions showing up. I, I will try the attack here and see how it goes. Ah. Those are spoiling attacks, aren't they? That's that's the English term for it. Blocking them for, from uh, binding them with combat and uh, yeah, basically binding them in combat. Uh, all right, this we pushed through this, but uh, still not there. Mm. Not sure, how many divisions are escaping, but. Uh, Let's wait here to, to, to regain some of the organization. How this is going? It's going. Hmm, that's a bit excessive. Hmm. Can we afford pushing our, uh, northwards to. Nah, that's. It seems like we are basically closing this. Let's. Uh, Okay, get half and start moving up north. Not sure if that's wise though. Uh, there are no ports here, are they? Uh, nope, only Kamchatka. Is there a port in Kamchatka? Nope, only ours. Don't think so. Nope. So we secured all the all the ports on all two of them. Russian's head, Vladivostok, and uh, this one. Mm. We are playing a little bit in here. That's all well. Here is the, those two offensive parts are obviously the, the more difficult part.
I'm not sure about this attack, but uh, let's, let's keep binding them. Uh, how is it going? Uh, there's a lot of fairly powerful divisions. Oh, and we are being beaten. Let's uh, re. You know what? Half of you stop the silly attack and continue moving there. You are attacking. You know what? You support this. And you continue northwards, perhaps. That would make sense. Okay, so we are pushing through the river uh, against a very, very numerous foe. Uh, so I guess this this angle of attack would be better, though we are being pushed northwards. Well, I don't think we'll be able to. Uh, Capture that anyway. Uh, let's let's keep hoping though. We have more divisions arriving. Uh, I want most of them here though. Okay, you guys are coming here. Good. Those of you are coming here, and you will be going northwards. Okay. Mm, you will be going there. Mm, okay. You are arriving. Perfect. Let's try about this attack. It's mountains through the river again. It's, it's really a waste of manpower, but uh, perhaps we will bind some of them here. Let's, let's go for a, a smaller, um, smaller, a smaller packet for now. What else? This is going nowhere. Uh, oh, this we've thrown a motorized here and. Hmm, but going through the, into that forest won't help us one bit. Uh, and you know what, all of those go go here. Hmm. You continue your attack and you will uh, do this. Uh, you are in a pretty shitty spot, those guys... Oh, right, you just arrived here and you'll be attacked. That's alright, uh, once all of those troops arrived, we should be able to, 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 to put some serious uh, firepower in, on them. But those are all fairly costly attacks, let's see how... Uh, well, we lost 9k, they lost, well, maybe 10k? 15? That's not ideal. I think that we clear the upper packet in the meantime, so we are going toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe against them. Well, as you can see, this, this attack is less than ideal. Uh, for the river, though, I believe those are those are some cavalry, yeah. So, so that's the reason we went for it. Yeah, that's, yeah. still hand, uh, handling them. Ah, oh, it's all mountains, so... And you know what? We want to surround you, and there is no use for for this division here at the moment. So let's. Oh, we found some resistance. Not not much. Here. Oh, we are being attacked uh, while attacking. So let's let's stop. Still a few more days. Uh, let's see our. Uh, what do we have? We have barely enough artillery. Running out of equipment, slowly but surely. We are awfully behind on motorized and awfully behind on supports. Not this. I'm not even talking about tanks. Huh. So we are putting one more on equipment, two more on motorized, some of art uh, on artillery, but on, but on a lower. Need. Uh, I should probably also a construction. We will need more on uh, uh, infantry, especially since we are going to uh, upgrade to infantry equipment three. We, we will want to, and, or that's two. Yeah, infantry equipment two uh, in the middle of the war. So that that will be uh, that would require some some spare guns. 
since our production will be cut in half. Support equipment would need to buy some more aluminum, but that's okay. We'll put a few, a few more. I, th I think we've uh, increased that a fair bit, so perhaps we'll start catching up, maybe. But not really, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, well, I, gu I guess that the, the consumption increased once we've thrown those divisions that uh, uh, are utilizing all the uh, support brigades, no, those. So that that would explain why we got uh, caught a bit off guard by by our consumption here. And motorized, it's it's <laughs> it's, it's it's awful. It's it's, it's it's really bad. So, all right. Uh, on that cheerful note. Uh, okay, let's see. That's yeah. Reinforcements first. Upgrade second. Uh, yeah, that's that's. That will do it. I don't think we need more cavalry for now. Let's cancel those. Yes. We are building motorized. I guess, well, the, we won't have time for tanks, so I think that all those motorized will come in handy shortly once we get out. If we push out of those all those mountains, that's, that is something that can win us, uh, win us this war. If we use those motorized like Panzer divisions and uh, perhaps uh, do that uh, in in this area, uh, everywhere the, the that there are no on this step, yeah, no forest. That's that's the main goal. Okay, but I think that's enough for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.